Hey there, a little bit of a off the beaten path video today. We are going to be making a drill charging station. We've got all these different pieces and they're all cut out of MDF. And it is a very, very simple afternoon build that anybody can do. And with like maybe $20 worth of material. So I have back there a bunch of drills. So I've got like six and I needed a place where I could put all six of those. But I realized that not everybody has six drills. So we also have created some boxes it will go into the empty slot so that you can fully utilize this in the ways that you want. And then if you end up buying more drills or drivers or whatever, you have slots for them. Huge shout out to Mitz for this specific design. I told him what I wanted and then he came up with this. And one big thing that I want to mention before we get into this is you really need to use half inch MDF. All of this is created for half inch MDF, meaning that you're going to get some very, very tight joints. And we're still going to be stapling this thing together, but it's going to work best with half inch MDF. We have these side walls, which each have their own little rabbits in them. And then we have all these little divider pieces. So these divider pieces are going to take up all of the inside panels right here. We're just going to pop them down into place. The next portion of this is going to be our panel board. So this is going to snugly fit on top of here and make sure that everything locks in together. This is also where we're going to be starting to staple things together so that they are not moving around. All right, now, once you've done that, just make sure that everything lines up. Go ahead and put in some either pin nails, brad nails, or staples. Now, one of the big things that I do want to talk about is that I am using one inch staples. This is probably overkill for this. This is an 18 gauge stapler. And we're probably going to have some blowout in areas that we do not want blowout. I really wish that I could find my pin driver, but I can't. So instead of doing that, I'm going overkill with this. All right, now next up, we're gonna be putting on this top piece. This is just a bunch of little pockets. The way that we cut this out was using two different bits. We used our downtown Jenny in order to do all the profiles as well as the slots, all that went very quickly. And then we used our bowl cut bit in order to cut these parts out as well. You could just cut this out just using one bit. Um, the bowl cut bit just gives a little bit of an area where you can scoop things out of these dishes. So if you do have something very tiny, it's not going to get caught into a corner. But if you didn't want to switch over bits, you just want to load one bit and do this. Uh, definitely could be done all using a single downtown Jenny or any down sheer quarter inch bit. Now, before we jump into all of our boxes, which are very simple to put together, we're going to put on these two slats. These two slats not only provide just a little bit of extra rigidity, but it also means that you have somewhere to attach a French cleat, if that's something that you're looking to set up as well. All right, this is assembled. Let's go ahead and do our boxes. And two. All right, so now that we've got that done, all we have to do is attach this to the wall, fill it up. Now, a few weeks ago, months ago at this point, we made this little spray can rack. Um, it's very simple, very easy to put together afternoon project. And that's kind of the same vibe that I wanted to be able to put with this. So if you don't have like six drills like me, these boxes are meant just to be able to slide right in here. So if you only have one drill or you don't have any drills at all and you still want something like this, you can cut out a few of these boxes and put them in here and still have really good storage for screws, small parts, knickknacks, who cares. As you can see right here, I have a few different types. I've got drills and I've got drivers and they're all really holding their bits right now. And you can also put them upside down and put them into these slots with huge batteries as well, regardless if you have small batteries or big batteries, you can still move these around the way that you want to. Now, if you do want to push things forward and still have it upside down, you can, really depending on the type of thing that you have in your drill. I know that I've seen a lot of drill organizers that require you to break down your drill before you put it in, and that's just not how I work. It's not how I do things. Maybe you do, and I think that's great, but for this, it is all designed just to be able to throw what you're using into a single place get it up and out of the way. Charging, originally this whole shelf up here was meant for charging and it's going to still be for y'all, but the holes that we drilled into the very side were just slightly too small. All the project files that are available right now are going to have one and a half inch holes. So it doesn't matter what type of a cord that you have, it will still pass through there. 
but this top shelf is originally meant to be able to house all of your chargers for your cords behind the back and then be able to have those just charging up there. Now there's a lot of add-ons that you can put on this. You can 3D print a bunch of little parts where you can store your batteries really easily and just snap those into place. Over here, there is a few different areas where you can store different things. There's a few slots where you could just drop in some commonly used wrenches as well as screwdrivers and things like that. But for me, I'm just gonna be storing my router right here because it uses the same batteries as these and I wanna have it all in the exact same place. These files are currently available in Carveco and Vectric, so you can just save your G-code and go ahead and cut these out. They're also available in SVG and DXF if you do need to tweak things a little bit in order to make it work with the material that you have in your shop. If for some reason you definitely do not want to use MDF, cut everything out. Uh, thank you so much to all of you CNC with me members showing up every single week and watching the videos. I hope that you like this one a whole lot. I know that everybody had a lot to say about the spray paint holder and that how many people are actually using it. So hopefully you all be able to use something like this as well. If there are any other wood shop type projects that y'all are interested in, please let me know down in the comments down below. Other than that, if you like the video, please like it, and I will see y'all next Friday. Bye.